Hello everyone, I'm Trusted44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Blades of Avernum. Last episode, we finished exploring throughout this uh, frost lizard lair here. Happened to find this big area here, which, even though we said we have no idea what it is, I think it's probably a bunch of uh, Venati sleeping cases or something. It, it has the same kind of appearance. However, we can't really fiddle blindly with the controls, it would be a horrible idea. Also, I just realized we had leveled up, so, uh, what the hell, let's put a few points in. Assassination improved for Fox, I'll try to get it from ten to ten. Sheik, her assassination is ten, yay. Bonnie, nothing. Draco, twenty-one mage spells. Which should give him access to destruction. Yeah, that gives him access to destruction. We also happen to get access to the flight spell, which is pretty good. Anyway, let's take a look at what's down this path here. Two Slith Warriors. Okay. Sure. We can kill them relatively easily, it looks like. Excellent. Definitely something we can deal with. I guess Slith Warriors aren't as tough as I expected them, might might end up being, but you know what, that's fine. I mean, they do hit hard, but they don't take a lot, which is good. Ooh, hello. Oh, this is like a back route out to this. I'm not gonna go uh, into that yet. First, I want to actually encounter it via the river. See what we can do there. Or see what we can see. So let's do so. Oh, oh very interesting. Alright, down we go. Around here is lumpy and turned over. Your nature lore detects that someone must have buried something here. What do you do? Dig. You find some lockpicks. They look special and shiny. Someone must have buried them here at some point. You pack away your discovery. Enchanted lockpicks. Oh, that's actually very useful. Give those to Sheik. We're gonna need them. Alright, so we can take a look around here. You approach the ruins of a city straddling the river. Battle marks cover the outer walls, which have been repaired, but not cleaned since the sack. In order to continue by boat, the expedition will have to pass through this city. The gates in the north for boat travel are closed but right now, but there must be machinery somewhere to open them, if you can find it and work it. Surely this is what you must clear before you return to Laguerre. And there is something to clear. You see movement inside the walls. Oh, goody. Always here. Ow! That hurt. It hurt more than it should have. Yeah, that hurt way more than it should have. Looks like we can actually slip in the walls over there. Yeah, over here, it looks like. There's the other gate. Can't go around the south end. 
Those gates are open, but I think it would be a stupid idea to go in that way. Anyway, before we do that, I think we should explore what's over on this side of the river. Can't actually get around that way. There is... Ah, there's something up here! Also, I just realized there's a tiny bit of map that I didn't actually cover there. There we go. I bet this is a way that we can get back to where we need to go to. Let's find out. Alright, up we go. A very large group of bandit slips sits here, guarding this passage. When you approach, they begin growling fiercely and holding their weapons in a threatening manner. You back off. As long as they're not willing to back down, you will be badly outnumbered and not be able to stand a chance in a fight. Okay, guess we're not going that way. Well, we know a way we can sneak into this area, so let's do so. Jeez, this is a huge gate. You enter a room with several wheels and windows that look out at the closed gates that make it impossible for you to pass through this town in your boat. Perhaps here you can open those gates and continue on your journey. Try to turn the wheel. You attempt to turn the wheel, but it only but it moves only with great strain. You notice the gates lift slightly in the water, but not enough to let you through, and after a short distance, the wheel ceases to move at all. As soon as you let go, it unwinds exactly as far as you turned it. It appears that you won't be able to get these gates open now. The leaders of the expedition will probably want to know about this dead end. Same thing there. And same thing there. Well, maybe the other side will work. Who knows? Oh, hello! Yeah, here we've got the Slith Warriors to deal with. Oh, crap! Asps. That's not good. Alright, you know what? Get a paste on Fox. Well, he can do extra damage, which is good. And he trapped him. Damn. I right, do nothing. All right. Having our mage in the front lines like this is really actually a bad idea against these guys. <coughs> really bad idea. Fireball will let actually do much. Not really much at all. Fire, not a good idea against these guys. And he summoned minions, because of course he did. But you know what? I bet Draco can actually take care of that. Or he would if he could reach it. And he can. Ba badly wounded, Asps stumbles back and raises his arms, hissing sibilant words of magic with a flash. He heals himself and causes several monsters to appear. Didn't see that coming. Alright, we can take care of that. Oh, I didn't see those back there! Hostile Slith avatars? No! Fuck. No. <laughs> Not Slith Avatars. This is bad. This is really bad. This is bad. This is extremely bad. Who the hell is this guy? And dead. Okay, gotta reload now. Alright, let's just uh, bless everyone up and get into combat like normal.
really did not expect to find Swift avatars. And on the plus side, we can kill these guys relatively easily, I think. That did not really do very much. Not pleased with the fact that he's running like that. So please remove that. <coughs> Not pleased about that either. Please stop with the. Oh crap. going significantly worse than it should have been. I should have done that other spell to protect. Actually, no. Cast that. We need it. Actually, you know what? Vampires! Okay, sure. That should actually distract the avatars when they show up. And you summoned avatar of uh, vampires too. Not too pleased about that. But at least the vampires can be easily slain. Yeah, I see uh, what's see the whole thing that's really a bother here. Constant summoning of everything. And summoning of summons and summon summons. But you know what? That'll distract those sort of avatars immensely. Which I definitely approve of. Or those slith avatars don't even show up. That works, too. Micah's gloves. No idea what those are. Plus one to magical efficiency protect with almost no protection. I mean, it's something. This The open book here appears to be a book of magic. These things are dangerous. Attempt to read it. The book describes several investigations into the summoning of demons, starting small and building to very mighty ones. Once you begin reading, it is hard to stop, and as you turn the last few pages, you realize that you are muttering aloud. You are no longer alone in the room. And here goes the summoning. We're going to die here. Should not have done that. This is going to suck. Especially because now the, uh... The whole summon thing is going to happen and we're all going to die. Did not expect this. I should have healed first. Yep, we're dead. Gotta reload again. Alright, once again, let's go through this. This time I'll cast everything. Every blessing spell, because of course it makes sense. For combat. Of course that happened. Why would it not have happened? 
You know what, sure. And... Wait. Because of course. Oh good, you're free. Perfect. Not surprised if that happened. Progress is being made. Stumbles back, and there are the avatars. Still more and more coming in. At least we have minions over there distracting them. Somewhat. freaking avatars. Okay. Excuse me. Hopefully that'll do enough damage to those avatars. Wait. Okay. Healing. Paralyzation! That is a bad thing. Especially because it's paralyzed the one guy who really shouldn't be paralyzed. Something tells me we're about to die here. Yeah, we did. Reloading. Well, I mean, we did f finish the fight successfully once. We can do it again. Although, I guess it was kind of luck in a way. Combat. And, of course, there's su the summonings. Tell you what. Right, you arcane summon. You know what? Do it again.
I mean, it's working. they don't move, I think we'll be fine. They're getting close. Okay, those avatars are getting very close. told that fire is actually very effective against those. Okay, one avatar is dead. Still need to kill one more avatar. But I think we got this. Alright, the other avatar is dead. Okay, that was a hell of a fight. Alright, there's nothing in there, it's just a bed, and we know that's uh, filled with pain and death. Excuse me. And we know that's nothing over there, so I'm just going to quickly run over here, get in the boat, and work on regaining our spell energy so we can finish exploring throughout this place. And probably also kill those demons, because why not kill demons? It's a little extra experience, you know? And there we go. This time we know about the deal with the demons here, I'm going to save, and then we're going to kill them. Alright, let's try, uh, let's try a couple blessings. Now enter combat and then do it. Attempt to read it, no longer alone in the room. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh well. 
Uh, it does damage. It does actually damage them. That is effective. And how about you slow? Maybe that'll work. Probably should have a haste on Bonnie. And there's minions summoned. Quite a few of them. Not pleased about that. But... That is actually highly effective. Not the target I want you to be attacking. Wrong target I wanted you to be healing. On the plus side, the demon is slowed, which is a good thing. The Draco can't be hurt now. And the demon is dead. Perfect. And we got level ups for some of for three of our guys. Okay, it was worth it to do this. And there we go. Alright. I don't know which three leveled up, but I don't think it was Fox. Sheik. No, it wasn't Fox. Sheik. Bonnie. Pre spells 22, which will give us access to protection and divine warrior. And anti-magic field, although I doubt I'm going to use that. Draco still can't level up his mage spells again, so save up. Alright, Sheik. You've got your assassination to 10, which is what I want. So, we're going to work on these other skills down here. Those are going to be handy. Actually, what is our mage? 11, 16... Wait, no. 11, 16... 22, 24... I guess a couple points in that. And he said first aid actually still doesn't have any points, so let's put a point in arcane lore, so that's improved a bit. We got a lot of arcane lore, so we're good. Alright. I'm gonna do the whole run outside and run around to heal thing again, and then I am going to end this episode here. Next episode, we'll take a look at the, uh, at the western side of this fort here of Naktha. What did it say was that Naktha? Yes, the nearest was Naktha, a city renowned for its tasty fish. And beyond that, there was the island city of Thassica. Alright. Well, okay then. Like I said, next episode, we'll move on to exploring the western side of this river. That'll be in the next... That'll be in the next episode. So until then, I'm Chester44. It's Fox, Sheik, Bonnie, and Draco. This has been a Blades of Avernum Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.